Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Pokemon Emerald. I do remember what game I'm playing actually. And so today we will be going to our next area on the battle frontier, which is, um, let's take a look at my map here. Okay, the tower. We're going to the battle tower today. First place, it's right there in the center. It's where we went last time when I was looking for the bike. And so, um, this one, I'm gonna do something a little special here because I did look into, like, I look into what each of these are before we go into them. I do vaguely know anyways from before. But, um, the idea behind the battle tower mainly, oh, you know me, okay. Sure, yeah, okay, wait, let's do this. If you're just starting, level 50 will be better first. Okay, sure, cool, I have fans in game. Anyways, um, the battle tower, yeah, the main idea here is that, um, you just do, like, seven battles. You bring three Pokemon in a single battle, four in doubles. I've never played yet, so... Okay, this is something we, we won't, uh, get it now. Sham. But, um, because... This is just, like, doing battles, I don't think doing the normal singles battle we usually do will be interesting. So let's, um, do some different modes. This is a Link multi-battle. Double battle? I think would be pretty good too, because like... That would be enough of a change up, I think, to kind of keep things interesting. But I think this is like... Multi-battle. Yeah, let's take info. Okay, two plug one each. Alright, let's, let's do this here. Yeah, I think we'll take this one because it'll be more, like, interesting than just doing, like, seven normal battles in a row. It's hard to know who to take, though, in contexts like this. I guess we'll take a Sven, and then maybe... I think either for Vimnios or... We'll, we'll, we'll take Heraclius. I think. Sure, we gotta save as always first. But yeah, like I said, otherwise this will just be like seven battles in a row with no like gimmick at all. I didn't realize they had a multi battle room. I think that'll be even better than like a double battle. Oh, okay, so now we gotta like survey these people and their personalities. Okay, Youngster Bradley. A zigzag in his headbutt? That sounds... Uh, bad, honestly. I don't want to be your partner. Raphael, cool name. Hop up and Skitty? Are you kidding me? Everyone here is so dejected when I reject them. Meowth and a Teddy Ursa. Is everyone here just the sock? Peggy the Lass? Diglett? And a Wormpole? Are you kidding me? No, I don't want to be your partner. Someone, please, there's something good. Wooper. Honestly, maybe the best uh, team in here, potentially, so far. Like, having two fire types. Everyone here is lame. Can I get some more people in here? I think having two fire types, given that I have one, is kind of bad. I think we'll go. I think she's our best bet. I mean, I went to say yes here. Good thing everyone here has no memory whatsoever. Alright. It's kind of interesting how everyone had, like, unevolved Pokemon. I wonder if our, like, opponents are going to have that, or what the deal is here, but... Anyway. Because, like, we only really got to do a, um, double battle with a partner 
or four. I guess having the double water type lead is not the best, but uh, there's nothing I could really could, could do about that. But we've got a fancier intro though into the battle. I don't know who she's gonna go after. I guess I should have maybe brought someone who can set up, but. Well, Hydro Pump the Ralts first, I think, is the most obvious play. Because, like, the Toto's Dial will resist, obviously. Okay, this might be really easy if that's if this if that's how this is going to go. Or, okay, everyone can just have a water type out, that's cool too. I mean, everyone here is a water type, like I've said, so, like, it doesn't even matter. I guess, too, the other thing is, like, they both have water types too, so it's, like, not even really a disadvantage, it's just like... Hopefully this doesn't have water absorb. It's just like how we're playing now, and I'm just- I'm the strongest Pokemon here by a big margin, so it's like... We're kinda set. Yeah, I guess the Shell Bell is kinda like a bad version of a, um... Leftovers, right? Like... I feel like even when we do like one hit KOs or close, we never get as much out of uh, our Shell Bell as we would out of the leftovers, but I don't know if we can get leftovers before like here, so maybe we'll have to buy one here in between battles. Am I gonna be back to half or? Not quite. And Icy Wind is kind of scary. Does it hit both of us? I think it does. Uh, that's not great, but hopefully I, it'll just be two on one for the rest of the battle here. Oh, okay. Well, she's using Dig. I guess while this is happening... Right, the Yawn kicked in. I forgot about that. I might as well just recover, right? I mean, not that we're really going to take it. I don't think we're going to take that much more during this battle, but like... You know, Islan will be better here than, um, Heraclius will. So now it's just a matter of, like, how much can we do to this Totodile while we're doing stuff to this Totodile. Alright, that's good. Now it's just a matter of what they have in the back, I guess. Bringle? I mean, sure, I guess we're all just using water types. Yep, good. Set up on that Bringle. That, that'll that help. Wait, is it gonna fall asleep in the air? How's that gonna work? But yeah, we can rain dance as a team, because Wooper has rain dance, so that'll be helpful potentially in the future. Yeah, yeah, what's... Okay, it comes back down, thankfully, otherwise this would be a very slow battle. But this is actually good having a double water lead. We're just like an accidental rain team. Ooh. Oh, okay, I guess I was confused. I didn't... Did I not read something, or I didn't see a message saying it was confused, but I might not have been paying enough attention. So this battle was kind of slow, but I mean, I feel like we did well despite. I feel ya, yeah, yeah, I've been there. Sure. Yeah, I, as we go on, I'm more and more considering um, doing like a full playthrough, like getting off camera to the frontier brain of each area. Because like this here is just going to be um, like seeing the individual sections, you only really need to see them once, right? Then I'll show off like the very last run for each area. Because I'm just kind of worried about... Um, over leveling past level 50 cap. 
Now we'll target the Stampy first in case it has rollout, but I feel like this is a very good opening pair for us to be up against. Maybe they get evolved Pokemon like as you go on. Okay, that's actually not that too bad because I do have. Um, this is the first time we're actually using. Was it recycle or refresh? Okay, that's kind of scary. Whooper, you should take care of that. That's also not uh, ideal. It doesn't do too much, thankfully. Yeah, we've never seen that animation before, but... Alright, good. So I guess we'll go after the, uh... Almanite here? I think this will hit for neutral, because it's probably half rock, right? Yeah. Okay, now we're back to 2 on one I'll we'll get some HP back, as you do. Yeah, I mean, I let's use a water pump. I, I don't see us using water pulse. I don't see us using all our hydro pumps against whatever they have in the back, but, you know, it, it won't hurt. Need arena. Yeah, we can just blast this thing in the face and we'll be good. I'm pretty sure Hydro Pump will just one shot it. Nope, did not. Never mind. But that's why we got the whoop here. That's what I'm calling her. What what does Flatter do? That's another move that I like haven't thought about in so long. I just I forgot that one existed, like to be honest. Poison point, uh, not great, but we'll heal right away, so doesn't matter at this scent at this point in time. Okay, once again, a weirdly long time there, but hey, this guy, <laughs> I like that quote, it's the Yahoos, but. Okay. I think it gets harder with each one, like, as you go along, because, like, so far... I guess I should maybe save seat in case the game, like, crashes or something. Like it did before that one time. Hydro Pump, obvious target is the Geodude, which means it protects. Of course, I got baited, I fell for it. Hopefully Booper didn't. That's actually kind of bad. That it, all right, maybe we'll just lose here then, if that's how it's gonna be. But I'll, we will still take out the Geodude first, because like that's the easier target, I feel like. I want to see what the Spinarak can do as well. Maybe that's a mistake, maybe like... Mm. Yeah, now I'm the target. Okay. But over half on a crit. And that's actually very good, because that means hopefully I should be able to outspeed with my, um... That's gonna stop at a confusion, right? Hopefully now I can outspeed with my recover. Uh, that does not matter to me, buddy. And now, at the very least, we get some kind of, like, up on this, um, Dratini. That's not great, but... Alright, we'll Hydro Pump the Dratini now, and now it'll give them longer to do whatever. But, I mean, this Rimmerade's just spamming for tech anyway, so... This was the correct play. It does, like, half. It's gonna heal me up, so... I should hopefully be able to take another Outrage. Or... 
Hmm. You know what? We may as well. We have it as a move. And that's really not good. But I mean, it does like very little, honestly, to us. But we were getting out sped too, so that was the better play. Hopefully that just takes it out too, honestly. Yeah, alright, perfect, beautiful, love to see it. Definitely a harder match, but we still have a good chance. We, especially if you're sending out a Nummel, like... That's very much good, that's very much what I want to see. More attack, that's cool. That might take out the spin rack, obviously, honestly. Yeah. But hope I should have speed and all I do. But we'll take it out here. Yep, one shot, uh, of course. Now it's just how much can I do to this? How far can I get with this uh, Reem Raid? With a Slen. Side Beam honestly sounds like it could do a fair bit. It did not, it did nothing. Okay, that's cool. And we one-shot the Reem Raid, so I... Alright. All my Pokemon lived, so... As far as I'm concerned, we're smooth sailing. Okay, well... I don't care about your boyfriend, lady. Gonna be honest here. I'm here for violence. We'll save state just in case it glitches because these battles take a long time, but if I lose, I'll let myself lose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, these things can sometimes take kind of a weird amount of time. Voltorb and Cacnea, okay. This is actually a really bad opening pair for us. Honestly, I feel like I might just uh, switch out to Heraclius at this point. I can at the, least, at the very least get rid of the Cacnea for sure. Okay, as long as I have speed, honestly, not too bad of a deal. That's gonna do a lot out to the boop right here. Yeah, okay, one shot. So I might, we might lose here because I might essentially be doing this whole thing on my own. Blaze kick the Cacnea first, I don't know if that's a mistake. We do get outsped and it does like a third and it paralyzes, so not a great start, but. Hopefully we can make some good progress here. Poliwhirl. Okay, that's, I think that's good. I mean, it did about a third. I don't know. I feel like at this point we just go for like what damage we can get off here. Cause we might get taken out Rain Dance. Oh, no, that is bad because that'll weaken my Blaze Kick. Not really the time for uh, that, but I appreciate the effort, the thought. Okay, I guess now we double kick the, the um, Voltorb if we can. Thankfully, they don't seem too keen on doing damage either. I say that, and I'm just gonna get one. I think it's not a one shot, but you know what I mean. Okay, well, I think we're gonna lose here because it's now two on three, and they still have that Voltorb up on the field. Okay, that is good though. I won't take as much from the Poliwhirl, so I feel like I should need to Hydro Pump this Voltorb, especially because we have a chance of speeding, even though the Poliwhirl would on paper probably be better. I feel like getting rid of that is more important here. I see wind. I don't think that'll do too much. Oh, that does nothing against me. Okay. Now it gives me a speed drop, which I very well could matter here. We both get speed drops. We're just all lowering each other's speed. This is 
In universe, this is like the slowest match ever seen. I guess I will water pulse the Voltorb now. I'm still the fastest, that's good. Get rid of that Voltorb, at the very least it means they'll only get to do one action this turn, which is, you know, something. So now it's a proper 2 on 2. We're kind of going in at a disadvantage, but once again, the old free water type situation. And also, that much on a crit, so they're, they're doing nothing. Okay. They're both at half. I don't know who to go for then with a uh, Hydro Pump. I guess probably the... Whatever, let's not, let's not overthink things. We're trying to keep this a snappy, entertaining video, theoretically. That's not good. Hopefully we take this out though, like... It's not always does a ton of damage, so... Okay, it's just me versus this stupid poly whirl. No, it gets... it. I forgot it still has an attack. It does like nothing. Okay, I can't see my, H my HP as a number, but that's fine. We will... I mean, nothing really, not much we can do but Hydro Pump. Missing is not good. <sighs> Hopefully this, uh, this doesn't speed drop, but... It does like... Yeah, there you go. It does one damage, so... Oh, okay, no, we just lose here, because then I can't, um, I can't deal damage to this thing. It has water absorb. All my attacks are water type, so, like... Yeah, we just lose. I'm just gonna refresh spam until they take us out, because... There's literally nothing I can do at this point. Which is kind of a shame. I mean, if I want to be a total bot, which I kind of do, honestly, I could just, like, recover and just pee pee stall. I'm gonna try it, just for fun. Like, this is gonna be real slow, but whatever. note how um, the message for water absorb is different when uh, the opponent's at full health. We're seeing little details by like playing the world's longest battle here. Okay, there we go. We're on to struggle now. Having more water, water pulse is actually going to make this kind of harder to deal with, but I mean, we're we're getting somewhere theoretically. I should have used my water pulses first. Like I should I should be using my recover my refreshes now. All right, so I'm now out of everything but recover. So yes, now is when. We'll determine if the last, like, 15 minutes actually put me in an advantageous situation or not. But it's not taking a lot of recovery damage, but... I wonder if my Shell Bell will work with Struggle. I'm hoping the recoil damage it takes will be enough to, like... Get us somewhere, I guess? Is it even taking real recoil damage at this point? Like, it doesn't look like... No, it is. It's just taking, like... One. I don't know why it's doing so little all of a sudden, but... 
whatever. Alright, and now we get to use Struggle now. We got Sped, which actually is going to be a problem. Okay, oh, we got a crit. Do we get a Shell Bell? We do. Okay, I think the Shell Bell here might save us. Or potentially, it's going to be definitely going to be a big advantage here. Wait, it's got a berry? Okay, special attack. I don't think that matters at this point. But I guess we'll find out here. Yeah, no, that's... I don't think that's doing anymore. How do you think the um, other two trainers here that have been watching this for the past 20 minutes feel about all this? Okay, well... I won, so we get to move on. It only took... I think it literally took 20 minutes. Unless they have something in the back, in which I don't think they do. Alright, yeah, we won. That is how you win, yeah. You see, <laughs> that's what genius drafts look like. That was not what any of us need, to be honest, but... I'm definitely going to save seat after that. And let's see how this next one goes. Let's see, if ever if, it, if the next three battles take that long, we're gonna be here for like almost two hours, so that's pretty exciting. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna get crushed here immediately, aren't we? After me spending like 20 minutes salvaging that last battle. That's alright. Shift mainly for the Aaron, but I feel like this is a good move against that Elekid as well. Okay, it did target me. Right, that's not as bad as we we're gonna take, but um, the fact that they both went after me is kind of sucks. I'm guessing Blooper's targeting the Elekid though, that is good. Blaze Kick, hopefully, this hits the Aaron. Hopefully, we survive this and we get to hit the Aaron. We do not. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna lose immediately, aren't we? Ah, uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Did, did it target Booper? Like, how else could Aerial Ace miss, you know? Pichu, alright, I'll let you, um... Dig on that. I will Hydro Pump this Aaron, I guess. I think Metal's new shoulder water, or is it... Yeah, we should not have switched in Heraclius, I guess. This Pichu might take me out, though. Yeah, okay, this is a bad combination for me. Like, I would re refresh through that, but I feel like we're gonna get taken out immediately anyways. So I think we just gotta go for a Hydro Pump. We obviously wanna take on the Magnemite, because Dig's not gonna hit the Magnemite. How does that work, like, if I'm not targeting the Pichu? Okay. So this game, my partner's putting in a work. She doesn't want to sit through, like, 20 minutes of me stop doing a... Uh, stall battle. Okay. As long as one of us can do the work, that's all that matters in the end, right? Alright, let's go ahead and do this here. What makes a move smooth? Like, that's a very particular adjective to be using. People are yelling outside, pretty cool. Bugs. I mean, theoretically, Heraclius would be better here, but I feel like a Hydro Pump can just take out. I think we'll go for the Yanma as the bigger threat. Maybe not.
Okay, so that's gonna be double bug. Okay, now it is good going for the Anma though. Because if that's gonna start being a thing, we hit it immediately. Good. Hopefully, we just take it out immediately. We do not. I might be a bad idea, but I'm gonna. Yeah, okay. I targeted the Beautifly this turn. Silver Wind. That's dangerous, isn't it? That's like ancient power. Okay, it only targeted um Spinner app. I missed this pretty big disadvantage, but that that's good too, because then hopefully we can outspeed the um Beautifly. Uh, looks like it's up to me now again. Uh, we're not KOing anyone here today. Okay, I feel like we'll just water pulse for the better accuracy. I guess we go for the Yanma? We did not that was a mistake. Okay. And it's gonna mega drain me now. And it's infatuated, so oh, okay. Okay, now I think we go... We still go for the Anma, I think, even though it's gonna just take us out immediately. Nope. Will we get a move through, though, here? We do. Good, we can see out the Anma and Pope. Alright, good. So now we can get a read on what they have in the back. Should I have... Should I be refreshing, recovering? I forget what moves are called. Probably. That might just take me out, though. Okay, I might have... Yeah, letting a slam die was probably a misplay. So I think we'll lose here, but... Whatever. I guess we blaze kick the beautifly? Kind of overkill given its HP right now, but... Hopefully the bell toy just does kind of nothing. Because that we can take out with another, um... Uh, blaze kick if we can hit and then that's gonna KO so that's game anyway but good a lot of very interesting matches here I feel like I didn't think we'd get make it through about this actually honestly but it, it was fun seeing everything it was fun working through like a really messy battle like we did uh, no, do not save that. That was not good, but... We'll go ahead, we'll save here. And next time, uh, we're getting... There's less and less places to explore here, so the next time... I don't know what off the top of my head what's in, what area is next time, but you should be able to... have a better chance of guessing it, if nothing else. 